Just when you think you have suppressed the Gauls in one place, they rise up in another. Despite our many campaigns, the Gauls seem determined to defy Roman rule. Even now, at Alessia, while we have surrounded their main army and leader Vercingetorix and are besieging their apedum, they do not give up. Our messengers report that a gigantic Gallic army is approaching to relieve the siege of Alessia as we speak. With all of Gaul's warriors concentrated in one place, this battle will decide the fate of both Gaul and you, Caesar. Defeat the Gallic leader inside the settlement, and we might just crush the spirit of the Gauls. Fail, and we will be overrun by the masses of Gallic warriors gathering outside of our encampment. Oklahoma? Selma. Rogan? Bombus.
sorry. On this, on this, on this.
With the defeat of Vercingetorix and the Gauls, you have brought almost nine years of constant fighting to a close. All of Gaul has been added to the Roman Empire, and according to some sources, millions of enemies have died in the process. The very name Caesar will become synonymous with leadership. Such success is not without its price, however. Jealous of your success and celebrity, and concerned about the size of our army, enemies in Rome have started to plot against you. On top of that, the triumvirate with Crassus and Pompey has come to a sudden end when Crassus died in battle against the Parthians, which means it is once again each man for himself. With Western Europe at your feet, it is time to return home and deal with your old friend and former ally, Pompey.